team felt pretty good coming off the soul match. I think it was uh, definitely our style that we're we know we can play. Uh, we were pretty happy. Uh, we were ready to jump back right into the scrims. Uh, that's what we did. We took a day off and uh, then we went back to, to screaming and preparing for the charge match after that. Main focus going into scrims was all about consistency. You know, trying to just make sure we're prepped for the match, but we have our expectations of what they're going to play, all of our scouting notes and stuff. And then making sure that our plays are clean, that we're consistent about our comms, we're consistent about our, the plans and strats we're doing. And so our goal was just to kind of keep the same momentum and just you know keep pushing it onward. I think that's something we can exploit, which is our fast decision making. We play like we did against Seoul. We go in, we get in, we get the kills. All in with you, and then basically the only thing that that requires is trust. Is that if you see something that needs to happen, like he needs to reposition back to the high ground or if you need help, or if Zach wants to assassinate somebody, they should be able to just say, you know, come here, and you, whoever's saying that can say that, like, one word, you know, over and over and over again, repeatedly. So the coaches have been really stressing about communication within the team. It's really important to have everybody on the same page, especially in the uh, triple tank, triple support meta that Overwatch will use in right now. So communication to set up ult combos, movement, everything that we need is just really important and it's been stressed so we can be um, as coordinated as possible in our matches. Our ultimate usage is really good. I honestly think that you guys are top three, if not you know, in contention for the best supports in the entire league. But if we can take our play and move it to the next level and start making plays as a unit together, decisively, we can be a dangerous powerhouse. Uh, we've been improving fairly well, like fast at communication. Uh, towards the beginning, it was a bit hard because we have like language barrier, and we have players from France, Korea. I'm from the United States, a bunch of other countries in Europe. So everybody has like different accents. So I was struggling because it was like I was new to the team, but everybody's getting used to each other and being more confident with their speaking. And so after that, we're able to push more into depth about like specific stuff we need to call out and we've been improving a lot. I think going into the charge match everybody was pretty confident that we wouldn't we wouldn't have like too much of a struggle against them. We were fairly confident with our play and we knew what we generally wanted to do against them based off of practice against them and scouting from their previous week's bet match. We felt like that match was ours, um, that it was definitely one that we had control over, that we should be able to win. Um, we knew what they were going to run, we knew how they were going to do it, and it was just up to us to execute our plan. Get ready? Yeah. Guangzhou versus Dallas. And this should be a good one because Guangzhou went to five in their earlier map versus Chengdu. Dallas. Didn't look good in their first match, looked a lot better in their second match against Seoul, so it's mm -hmm. uh, kind of a, with a real Dallas Fuel please stand up. Apply the damage, apply the disruption, collect the W. That's what it's all about, Hex. One <laughs> step after another. We're going to see if they're capable cool, today. Dude. We're going to be kicking it off Let's on Busan. Let's go, boys. It doesn't really seem to be able to take too much advantage of it, though. Zachary right now just wrecking house. Two kills for him. Look at that. This could very well be it. It's Unko. Is they're just charging in now as best they can. Effect as well here to try and stall. But they're going in one after another, and it's just not going to be good enough. Nobody here for the fuel, and it will be the charge taking the lead in this series. Closer's going to go for a boop, and this is it. Dallas Fuel down to two. Who's going to be able to make it back in time? The answer is nobody. Nobody is close enough. Closer gets denied, and it will be the charge with a 2-0 lead over the Dallas Fuel. Keep his teammates up, but we still have some of that rally armor on board, and Happy will take down OG. It's falling apart for the Fuel. They're forced off of the point, and this is going to be it. It's okay. The charge with the hard hold on the first point of a new It's okay, it's okay. Just silly mistakes, guys. No worries. Uh, we knew that we can beat anyone as long as we are not scared and we play with confidence. Uh, sadly, we didn't play with confidence, so we got four all against Charge, even though we, we knew we could beat them. We didn't exactly perform the plays in the style that we wanted to play against Charge. We kind of just played like a more neutral style, and they ended up taking control of the match and controlling the pace. So we just fell behind and couldn't really get back up. So I think we uh, let our guards down a little bit. Lots of little mistakes pretty much on every, on every map that kind of lost the floor, so. Um, 
overall we were we were pretty solid, but um, messed up in key moments. So we can look, go back, look through it, we can fix it, we can move on, okay? We lost 4-0, but uh, it's not the end of the war. The next game is going to come stronger. And uh, hopefully we're going to easy grab in Philadelphia position. So coming into the, the practice room, following that, you know, the main strategy is address it, but don't linger on it. You know, even, even though we messed up, we wanted to make sure we knew why we messed up and how we could fix it. So we address that and immediately start focusing on the next match. I think everybody was a little bit annoyed after losing to charge because it was a match that we definitely could have won. We made like a bunch of mistakes that as one weren't huge, but when put together that it ended up making us lose. So we knew that we were really confident with our play. We just need to clean up little mistakes and then we would be perfectly fine going into our next match. So I think everybody was pretty motivated to just being a bit extra cleaner and not being sloppy at all. So we could just come out with the win against Fusion. It's something that we've overcome before with the Shock to Soul match. And we knew that we, we could overcome it again. And so our goal was to, you know, continue to push that consistency, even though we, we kind of dipped on it with the Charger match. I knew that we could bring it back. Me personally, as a, as a player, uh, when I lose, it just gives me more motivation to come back stronger for the next game. And I'm pretty sure like everyone's mentality in the team is like, like that. Sure, we lost a match, but we should have won. Uh, but it's a long season. One match is not going to define like the, the season. So we, let's just keep going. Let's just come back stronger. And we worked really hard the, during the week to improve on that. And we did well. I think everyone is excited for the Philly match. You know, there, where's, there is some history between the teams there uh, for a handful of people, myself included. It was kind of fun with, with the banter going back and forth between Jane and some of the, the Philly well, people. Going into this match, there has been a little bit of smack talk between these teams, and I love to see it, Hex. We don't get enough of it. But yeah, Jane, the assistant coach for Dallas, also a, a prolific streamer, said their goats was trash. Just call it what it was. Their goats was trash. How do, how do I say it? He's a bit aggressive. I, he was trying to provoke them. He wanted, I think he wanted them to react to it. Um, I'm not going to say Jane was really wrong, but I think Jane was just trying to have fun and like make the match a lot more interesting, so I think it definitely did help. I don't think it had any effect on us. Obviously, we, we, we had to win since he wanted to trash talk, so we had to win. We had to, to, to kind of ha have the back of our coach. You could tell that they were really into the match, like they wanted to win. They were having interviews at Carve Bay about him firing back at Jane, and I'm just like silently here just waiting to beat them because I personally really wanted to beat Fusion because I played on their academy team last year. So it was really enjoyable. It added like a lot of extra fun to the match for me. And so uh, everyone wanted to perform well. We knew that Philly is considered a strong team, but we also know that we can beat them. Uh, we know that we can, we can beat anyone in the league if we're, if we're on the same page. We're, we're confident and we're executing our plays and our strategies at our own pace. So the goal uh, coming in was, you know what? We're not going to let them control us. We control them and we control this series and we're going to push that. One more fight at 83%. Exactly. And once again, just for free, they get the point. Now it's all about this fight for Philly and they're getting picked off. Zachary going to get the kill on Saddle with the help of OGE. And now OG's just jumping into the back line. He's going to get that cleave going just on all of the squishies and there isn't a whole lot that Philadelphia can hope to do. Fully charged. He's going to be doing so much damage and the grab straight in. He's got the follow up. Doesn't need any help from the D.Va. And Dallas Fuel looking phenomenal right now. And that is it. Dallas Fuel will start off strong versus the Philadelphia Fusion. Oh, they will pick up the first map. Nice, guys. Good nice. nice. Good shit, boys. Oh, just like they a little bit too much damage in the process. Self-destruct combo coming through. Oh, what a shot! RCK! Kills three! We cannot leave this point for an instant. And he will get ejected immediately. That should be it. Dallas Fuel. All three points on Numbai. Maybe I, I, I can't coordinate here. If we don't oh. have to rest. Knock him off the edge too, so we might be calling to let them in, and that's exactly what happens. Go for the pause, get out! Go for a ride, Sato, go tell me what, how the greenery looks down there at the bottom. He's out of it, Philly gonna get cut up by OG. Eventually he's gonna have to go down, AKM fully charged up, is gonna wipe him out. Too much damage to handle, and Philly will get sent back to spawn. Be able to touch with the Dallas defense, hold strong. Hey, Jin was right. Our our energy is very good. Keep it up. 
okay? Keep up good comes, keep up good ults, and we'll be, we'll be solid, all right? Should be there, yep, Sato gets it up in time. RCK, no fresh spec for him, and this okay. will be the Philadelphia Fusion. Right. It just up. Up. was a mistake. Don't, don't, don't lose the energy, okay, team? Okay. Yeah, just a mistake. That's a lot of their damage that just went to the grave, and they're gonna get run over! Nowhere to run or hide. By Zarya, you lose Zarya, you lose the fight. Hey, turns out EMP is a pretty good ability when you hit all six. EMP is it. There it is. Here comes the hammer. Fuel burn it right. They're going to get it done. That was Fuel with the win. 3 1 over the Philadelphia Fusion. Look. Great job today, guys. Seriously. Another great turnaround after kind of a not so great first day, but it's okay. We were aggressive, we were confident, we made our plays. Even though we slipped up on our 2CP, it's okay. Um, we'll do better next time. But we're 2-2 two -two with three, ma <laughs> three matches left. <laughs> These three matches, they're ours, all right? The morale was, was, was definitely good. Um, you went from being frustrated about you know, that the loss, previous loss, into being, you know, feeling pretty good that we're able to bounce back again. I mean, the team morale is pretty much like this whole match. We felt great uh, after coming back from such a hard loss to like a pretty, pretty convincing win. But we know a win means nothing right now. Uh, we still have a long road to go. Uh, so we pretty much all we had to do is like celebrate the, the victory in the moment, but refocus for the next uh, series to come, which is Shanghai Dragons. I think everyone's a little cautious because our future is kind of in our own hands right now. As long as we show up in the way that we know we can, we can definitely take you know, our next three matches with you know great convincing wins. But if we don't show up, we know that those series are definitely ones that we could lose. Um, so we're, we're still very, very focused on making sure that we come in with that aggression, with that decisive mentality, with that mentality of like, you know, we're gonna win this no matter what. So. Now it can't happen to us. Okay. That's true. Okay. <laughs>